Okay, I'm just working on a, another piece of equipment or a structure for the, the ash wastes set up. And this is going to be some sort of, I don't know, water tower, holding tank. It's based on um, a piece from a GW kit. I think this is Sector Mechanicus, one of the pieces from one of those kits. And then I've got in here a, an empty uh, tub of cotton buds that I've then wrapped with a plastic sheet, textured plastic sheet, which is a, a good look. Uh, up here is a piece from a, a, an old VHS cassette tape, which has got the right kind of look to it again. And I just wanted to put it up on some legs to give it some height. And uh, I'm just using some more of these shaped uh, extruded styrene pieces for that. And I think if I just do a bit more here with some uh, right angle stuff, I can just get a bit more strength into the legs. So I'm planning just doing a 45 degree cut. And it's just going to be a case of getting the length roughly right. So I just need four of those. Just going to use this Tamiya cement. Okay, there we go. So we'll just let that dry. Okay, so I've completed the legs on there, added a bit more structure to it, just to give it a bit of strength, and then mounted it on uh, another piece of thicker plastic card. So that's the kind of the basic setup done. And now it's just a case of Adding in a few more things. The plan is just to bear in mind uh, games like Necromunda. You can move your uh, miniatures like four inches as a normal move. Um, so my idea is with this being around eight inches tall to fit some sort of platform piece around four inches up, just to divide the eight inches into two moves. Just need about enough to uh, stand one miniature on there. This is too flimsy, so I'm going to build a little bit of this box section stuff. Just going to make a bit of a framework around it. Okay, so that's a little platform built. So we just need to trim the ends and then decide how we want to support it, probably with a couple more columns. And then uh, we need a ladder for one side. And that should do it. Okay, so that's now stuck on. But we need to get some columns under that. So I've chopped out a couple more bits of box section, which are just going to get glued under there. But to give it a bit more strength, I'm just going to create a little assembly using a bit of something else. I don't know what that is. Um, so I just want to chop that down. It happens to be Roughly that size there. So normally if you just 
run the knife a few times over the area you want it should just snap off. Smooth up the top. So with that flat on the mat, I'm just going to glue that all together. This will just make the whole platform more rigid. It's so most of those, those old miniatures are metal, so you need a little bit of strength to take the weight. So we'll let that dry, we'll sand the top and bottom and then we'll glue that into place. Okay, so that's the, the basic structure set up for this uh, water tower or holding tank, whatever it is. So we've got the columns underneath the little halfway point platform, put a rail around it. The railing's just the same as I've done in a previous video. So all that leaves is to build a simple ladder up to the platform there. We've got kind of an old, I think it's a GW ladder of some sort, which is going to give you access to the very top. And then I've looked out a number of bits and pieces that I'll use for adding a bit more detail just to finish it off. Um, just so you see the kind of scale, you know, standard 28mm miniature. Fit on there. So that's the idea. So we'll get on with uh, setting up for making a ladder and then get on with detailing. For this, uh, for this little ladder, I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of the, the right angle section stuff. Um, I will cut to the right length together with that. So we just need some steps or rungs to go up the ladder. So I'm just going to use a bit of this uh, checker plate looking plastic. Yeah, so using the GW one as a bit of a guide, probably need about 10 rungs. Just make some marks to help position the rungs. It's going to be a bit delicate when uh, trying to build this, but... Okay, so I want these first few set a bit and then add the rest of the, the rungs where it's a bit easier to work with. Okay, so that's that little ladder built up now. It's maybe a bit too delicate, but at the scale I think it makes sense. So we'll get that trimmed if we need to and get that fitted. Okay, it's a ladder in place. Once the glue dried, it's maybe stiffened up, so uh, the whole thing's much more rigid now. Um, so now it's time to start adding some more uh, details to the overall build. Start making this little uh, overflow pipe or whatever. And uh, just going to make something at the bottom to act as a little kind of valve or something to control it with. I've looked at some bits here that you can use. Just to connect this pipe to the ground.
So I could just go about there. Doesn't really matter if it's a bit off. Taking some scrap bits that were uh, that were flat, I just bent them just by using my fingers to try and match the overall shape of this. And it was just to try and imply that there's a couple of patched up areas on the side of this. One there. I think I've got another bit somewhere. Yeah. Um, right next, Let's put something up on the top. Um, some parts from a old kit. I think it's like a space shell kit. Um, they're from two different kits, but they they happen to kind of go together quite well. And then this piece happens to fit inside that groove there. So I'm going to start some sort of exhaust or. I'm not sure what part that would be up in there, but just line these up. Okay. Trying to decide how to top this off. This is a, a different sort of plastic which won't melt to the uh, Styrene stuff, so okay. I, th I think I'm gonna glue this piece on here. Well, I've done because it's a, a different type of plastic, I've super glued in a piece of uh, styrene plastic or whatever it is that I can use the Tamiya cement with. Okay, I think that'll hold. So that is just going to go up on top. How that gets lined up doesn't really matter too much. And then 
just to flesh out a bit more detail on the sides. Small little plastic bits or greebles. And then I want a, a valve with these pinwheels on it. So we've got a little screw top off of something there, and then a little resin cast pinwheel. down at the bottom of this uh, other pipe just we'll have another valve on there a couple of small bits Just makes sense because it gives you a valve down at ground level on whatever pipe this is, and then you've got the valve up top. And classic old GW gas canisters. And then maybe just a couple of scrap pieces of the checker plate stuff. Just to break up that top surface. As if they've used it just to patch something up. So I'm just trying to leave enough room up top for a, for a miniature. So no handrail. So I think that's it in terms of a basic build. I think there's some room to uh, put some general scrap metal or whatever around the base and then uh, get it ready for priming and then onto the painting. Okay, just moving in a bit closer to do a little bit of detail work. Um, I wanted to have something coming out of here rather than just leaving it a vent. Um, I thought that we could maybe have something that would siphon off into a barrel or a container of some sort. So I've, uh, I've looked out a few bits and pieces here that I thought we could use. And I've also got some of these uh, flexible pipes or conduits to the idea is to try and make something that uh, looks like a hose coming down that someone could uh, pull and connect onto a barrel to extract whatever it is that's in this tank so I think I'll do the kind of nozzle end of it first Need to connect that uh, piece there to one of these flexible hoses. Um, so I've made a few little bits of plastic that can be used to connect these different bits together. So I think if I uh, Thank you. 
let's start with that bit there. And then Yeah, I think it goes there. I put this uh, larger diameter piece over the top, just leaving a, a recess. So that recess is going to let me slot this. Uh, Hose piece into there. I want to make sure to leave enough room to connect this handle. Someone would grab that with. You know, the person using it would grab it by the hand I'll pull it down and connect it to the to the barrel or whatever it is it's been connected to and I was going to use some super glue for this and then we can uh, change the position of this to suit So I think I'll just glue that together, just for something more substantial for holding this onto the base with. Yeah, so I've got this bit here. Just going to go in there. To help connect it to the hose, I've got a smaller bit that happens to Fit in there. Okay. So to connect these two bits of hoses, I think I'm just going to use a little piece like that in between. This is just to give me a bit of an extension to reach up to where this needs to run to. It's just not quite long enough to get up to that connection point. So we'll just use a bit of super glue on either end. And then we can trim the hose to suit once this has had a chance to dry properly. Yeah, this side. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then uh, fit it into place. <laughs> 